So last week we got a trailer for a new PlayStation exclusive called Ghost of Yote, which is a sequel to Ghost of Tsushima that came out in 2020? Yeah, holy shit. Anyway, I'm really excited for this game, right? There's a lot of controversy surrounding the game currently right now for a multitude of different reasons, and we're going to get into that in a little bit, but I want to start out with the preface and say that I'm excited for this game. I think that Sucker Punch is going to do a phenomenal job making the game. I think that they're going to do a lot of the right things that they should be doing and make the story interesting, make the characters interesting, have amazing exploration and side quests. And I think they're going to do an absolute phenomenal fucking job with what they're currently working on with Ghost of Yote. I think it's going to be something better than what we had already seen before in their last game, Ghost of Tsushima, which in itself was already a beautifully constructed game that they had worked on for years. And I really liked that game. I like I got the platinum trophy on it and everything. I did everything that I could. It was a phenomenal game. And so obviously when the state of play came around and they announced this at the very end, which I kind of was hoping that it was gonna it was gonna show up and I kind of predicted that it was gonna show up at the very end because right now honestly Sony kind of needs a win and I don't know, it's sort of seemed like at least 2025 was around like the ballpark of where they would probably want to release their next title and i was right and immediately of course you go, you go on twitter people are talking about it and they see a couple of things that they don't like mainly the main character if i'm being perfectly honest and yeah let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff that people had to say one of the main things that people had to say about the trailer was the fact that you're not playing as jin sakai which was the main character from the first game ghost of tsushima and jin sakai we just assumed that we were going to get a continuation story revolving around that character we were going to continue his story continue with him being the ghost and whatever it is that he had to do Right, people assumed this, and admittedly, I thought we were going to get a continuation story about his character and what he was going to do within the world of, J of this fictionalized Japan and all this stuff. And it's not wrong of us to assume that we were probably going to get something like that, but they never gave us any indication as to that being the case. They never gave us any indication as to whether or not they were going to do something different or not. And yeah, it's still set in the world of Ghost of Tsushima, but now it's some odd 300 something odd years into the future after Jin Sakai has been known as the ghost. And I'm going to assume that this new character named Atsuo is going to be known as the next ghost ghost the ghost of yote the main thing people had to point out about the main character was the fact that it's not jin and it's a woman and of course you're gonna get a lot of people saying oh well why are we not playing as jin and this and that and some people genuinely wanted to see a continuation story about jin and that's totally acceptable but then you have some other comments saying that they're straight up not going to play the game because they're playing a woman they're not going to play the game because of woke dei bullshit even though we don't really know anything about the game, right? And I totally 100% understand this whole knee-jerk reaction that people had towards the main character not being Jin, the main character not being a male, and, and being a female instead, because plenty of times in media, and whether it be movies, TV shows, or even video games, of course, have we gotten games that have tried to vor force diversity and inclusivity, and they've done it in ways that just were not it. Like recently, I was starting to get back into watching some like Marvel shows and movies I haven't seen yet. And then I watched She-Hulk and holy shit, like the, the whole thing about like diversity, inclusivity for like the female characters in that show and the whole like dragging down men and like uplifting the women in that show, especially She-Hulk herself. It just, it was a god awful experience with horrible jokes, horrible writing, horrible characters. And that's an example of a show that tries to be super inclusive with, with women and females and femininity and all that stuff, but in turn just has horrible writing across the board for every single character and just doesn't do anything of actual substance. And the main character just is boring, uninteresting. There's nothing likable about her in any way. And that's what people are so worried about when they see this game. They're worried about that we're going to get more of the same slop, such as She-Hulk, such as Concord, as an example. Something like Dustborn that came out and flopped. And there's a bunch of other examples that I can bring up off the top of my head, but I don't really want to go on for much longer other than I have to. And just, I totally understand, right? I totally understand that a lot of people have had their had their bridges burn. They've had their expectations ruined. The Last of Us is honestly another example that I can think of, which has all these female characters who don't really have too many flaws. They kind of just do whatever they want. They don't really have too many. They don't have really, really interesting personalities. The only female character that I can say that I actually really liked in that game was ellie but that's because i already knew ellie because i had a whole other game to get to know her and get to care about her and get to be invested into her story and who she was 
And then you have Abby who's introduced into the game, and then you have to play as her, and then she kills one of the main leads of the previous game, and then just like it, it was just a bad introduction to her character, and then you get to try to learn more about her, and she's just not interesting in what's whatsoever. And it's just it's trying to put up this female character in a higher light than anyone else when you just don't like her you don't want her to do anything and that's why like one of the main things that you saw people doing online was when they had her fight against ellie at the at the at the movie theater i think it was or like the stage theater place they just had her die to ellie a whole bunch of times because people just really didn't like her so obviously you have a a whole bunch of people starting to look into like looking for information in regards to the main actress who's supposed to play this new character uh i think her name is erica ishii and yeah i'm not gonna pretend like i don't think that some of the stuff that they found about her was stupid like you see a bunch of her tweets saying some really stupid things a lot of like very political and progressive stuff stuff and and that's not inherently bad i'm not gonna say that's inherently bad because inclusivity and diversity in itself isn't bad but when it's shoved and forced into your face i think it can be a bad thing to do you need to make it more natural you need to make it more convincing you can't just constantly shove inclusivity inclusivity in people's faces and just get people to accept it for what it is when you're constantly trying to force feed it down their throats and that's another thing that people are very frustrated about people are frustrated because it feels like everything's trying to be inclusive everything's trying to be diversive just for the sake of being diverse if it get brownie points from a crowd that's probably not even gonna buy the media that you're making because concord came out and that was really inclusive and diverse they had a very diverse cast of characters that had different races and ethnicities and different sexualities and stuff like that and they identified as different sexualities and you and they even they didn't even identify as a sexuality they were not non-binary but no one bought the game the people who already didn't want any of the in- inclusivity and diversity stuff the dei stuff they didn't buy it because it didn't look interesting to them from a gameplay standpoint and the dei stuff just gave them another excuse as to not buy it and then the people who wanted that stuff to begin with just didn't buy it because they don't care about video games back to erica ishii you have a bunch of tweets of her saying some really stupid shit like abolishing the police and stuff like that which i really don't agree with in any way whatsoever because it kind of gives off this idea that all police officers are bad or something like that when it's like no that's not true that all the police are terrible fucking people who try to abuse their power and it seems very disingenuous to try to lump every single police officer man and woman uh, and non-binary whatever they want to identify as it just seems wrong to try to lump them all into one singular group and try to make them all seem like the bad guys when there are plenty of very good and honest police officers officers who are trying to do the right thing and are trying to genuinely help the people of society and just enforce the law and that's why officers of the law exist because that's what they're supposed to do they're supposed to enforce the law so it's abolish the police i just feel it's just the most branded idiotic thing that you can do but is all of this going to get me to want to not play the game Do I understand people's knee-jerk reactions, and do I understand why they don't want to play this game for a multitude of different reasons that I've already stated? I 100% understand it. I can 100% understand the reasons that people may or may not want to play it. They don't want to be forced with with this DEI bullshit stuff. They don't want to be force-fed inclusivity and diversity stuff. I totally get it, right? And they don't agree with some of the stuff that Erika Ishii is saying, and they fear that she might have some, some influence on the game itself. I don't believe that in any way whatsoever. Sucker Punch has been making games for an extremely long time, and they have not made a bad game once. They have an insanely good track record. They made a phenomenal game before with Ghost of Tsushima, which, by the way, got robbed at the 2020 Game Awards, and it was a phenomenal game. I trust them wholeheartedly, 100%, that they're going to make a fantastic game when it's not going to have anything shoved down our throats in terms of inclusivity, diversity, whatever the hell, right? Just, it's not going to force any of that down i don't care that the main character is a female character it could be they could have been male and i would have felt the same way about the game it doesn't matter just so long as the game is well made has good characters good exploration good gameplay good story and doesn't try to force feed me anyone's agendas down my throat then i'm fine i don't care i just want the game to be good and i expect the game to be good because I trust Sucker Punch games, Sucker Punch Productions. I I trust that they're gonna make a fantastic game because they've already had this reputation of making fantastic games. And that's what I'm going into this with. I'm going into this with no knowledge of the game whatsoever because they just shared a a teaser trailer and an announcement trailer saying that they're making the game and that's coming out pretty soon. And then that's it. 
that's all we know. We only know the location. It's 300 something odd years in the future of the first game. It has a new character. We know her name and that's it. We don't know anything else about her herself, her struggles, her personality. We don't know like what her story is going to be like. We don't know how she's going to interact with any of the other characters in the game. We don't know her st we don't know the story of the game itself and like who's going to be in it, who's going to be like the bad guy and like anything. We don't know anything about this game. So to wrap things up, the last thing I want to say is to the people who are nervous about this game and are like nervous that some stuff is going to end up showing up that they don't want to see because they're tired of seeing that in their video games. At least wait for some more information to come out about the game before you make an ultimate decision as to whether or not you want to buy the game or not. Because for all we know, the game is going to come out. It's not going to have any of the stuff that you were that you feared that the game was going to have. And it ends up being absolutely fantastic. And that's why I think it's going to end up happening. I think the game is going to be fantastic. I think it's going to be an amazing time. I think it's going to tell an amazing story. It's going to have great characters. I'm excited. I want to see more information about this game because I think it's going to genuinely be amazing. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I kind of rambled on for a long time and I kind of was all over the place within the video, but just... I've been thinking about this game for a while and the drama surrounding it over the past couple of days since the announcement trailer came out. I want to go ahead and promote uh, another video made by another content creator, Sydney Watson. I think she made an absolutely fantastic video talking about the entire drama and situation revolving around the game. And I think her, I think her video has a lot of excellent points that you should go ahead and watch for yourself. I think it's a great video. So yeah, please go check it out because I think it was great. I think her herself as a content creator is fantastic and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to go ahead and give a channel shout out to Pedro360 for still being the only member on the channel. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. Please consider joining the channel memberships. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Let the